Hi, I'm Keith Barry, and we're in the Reviewed.com Laundry Labs talking about ventless dryers. A ventless dryer, as the name suggests, does not have a vent. A conventional dryer will tumble your clothes in hot air and then exhaust that hot air outside. With the hot air comes the moisture from the clothes, and that's how your clothes get dry. Now, a ventless dryer works in much the same way, but instead of exhausting it outside, it will instead funnel that hot air to a heat exchanger. That heat exchanger kind of takes the moisture out of the hot air and collects it in either a bin, like this right here, which you can empty into the sink, or you can connect it up to a drain. There are definitely trade-offs to having a ventless dryer. First and foremost is size. Most ventless dryers are only 24 inches in width, and they're small enough to fit underneath a countertop. That's a benefit if you live in a cramped space, but it also means you can't fit as many clothes. The other main trade-off is time. It takes a lot longer to uh, kind of squeeze the moisture out of hot air as opposed to just venting it outside. And when you take your loads out, they might still be a little bit moist and need to sit for a while. Another drawback is heat. Because the machine doesn't vent hot air outside, the dryer itself can get pretty hot. The best model that we tested overall is this one from LG. I like the fact that it has a 4.2 cubic foot drum, which is relatively large for a 24 inch machine, and it had consistent dry cycle times. The controls were easy to use. You can buy it at any big box retailer or online. For more information about ventless dryers or to see reviews of the hundreds of other appliances we've tested, head over to Reviewed.com.